Adrian Gonzalez looking to snap his homerless drought. Hasn't played long ball in 84 at-bats. Top of the first, Jacoby Ellsbury on third. Back in the lineup for the first time since Friday. Gonzalez in the box. Gonzalez hits it high and deep to right down the line. It is deep and it is gone up into the second deck. Adrian Gonzalez with a two-run home run and a great start for the Red Sox on top two to nothing. His 19th of the year, top of the second, two on one out. Jared Soltalamaki in the box, drives one deep to right, and then just steps on the gas. Jed Lowry comes in to score on the RBI double. Boston pads its lead 3-0. Top of the third, it's now 5-0. Ryan LaVarnway lifts one deep to left center, and he will also put his foot to the pedal. Jed Lowry scores another RBI double. Just like that, it's 6-0 Boston. Bottom of the third, John Lackey in trouble. Bases loaded, nobody out. Elvis Andrews in the box. Well, he draws a walk, so no room for him. Your Vittori Alba jogs home. Rangers get on the board 6-1. They tack on two more in the frame with sack flies to make it 6-3. Top of the fourth, Adrian Gonzalez, Kobe Lewis, part two. This is in the air to deep center field. Back goes Chavez at the wall. That ball is gone. Adrian Gonzalez with his second home run of the night. Puts the Red Sox on top, 7-3. to three. Gonzalez is 20th of the year. Bottom of the frame, Lackey regroups one-on-one -on -one out. Gets your Vitor Alba swinging. Next batter, Indy Chavez, same result. Lackey, 5Ks on the night. Move to the sixth, it's now 7-4. Rangers threatening with runners on the corners in one out. And Lackey induces a comebacker from Torrey Alba to jumpstart a double play. Lackey escapes the jam. He went six and two thirds, four runs on seven hits and three walks. Top of the eighth, two on, two out. Marco Scudero with a deep connection to left. Off the top of the wall, it is ruled a double. Ryan Lavardway and Jared Saltalamaki has scored take another look they did take a look at instant replay but the ruling would stand 9-4 Red Sox they would go on to win 11-5 Adrian Gonzalez finished with three hits and three ribbies Marco Scudero also had three RBI Boston moved back into a virtual tie with New York atop the AL East as the Yankees fell to the A's Peter Bourne just trying to continue his streak of three straight games of the home run. The Halos trying to continue their streak of four straight wins. Going up against Mark Burley and the White Sox. Bottom two, Howard Kendrick to center field and gone. Number 11 for Kendrick. Makes it 2-0 Halos early on. To the top of the third, White Sox starting to come back up against Irvin Santana. Gordon Beckham down the left field line. Brent Morrell will come in on the double, and it's 2-1 later in the inning. Alejandro Diazza up the middle. Diazza, terrific speed and able to beat it out. Beckham comes in. We're tied up at two. Bottom three, Tori Hunter. Seeing eye single right here. Meisseris Torres comes in. It's 3-2 Angels. Jump ahead to the seventh. Now 4-3. One on, one out for Morrell. Flowers takes off. The hit and run is on. Kendrick is down. Flowers to first. Trying to get a third. Is Flowers to throw the tag. Got him! Unconventional double play, but it works. Nicely done by the corner infield for the Angels. To the top of the eighth, still a one-run game. Man on in scoring position for Paul Canerco. And this is Canerco's 2,000th career hit, and it's a big one. Diazza comes in to tie the game up at four. Canerco will be pinch run for, so he gets his handshakes and congratulations. Bottom nine, second and third, one out. They decide to walk. Meiser is Torres intentionally to face Borges, who has that home run streak. Could he come through? Line to left field, base hit! Ibar will score. Light that baby up as the Angels win it 5-4. to four. Boy, Peter Borges. All right, so not a home run, but Borges will certainly take it. He's still the hero. The win goes to Jordan Walden, who tossed a scoreless ninth as the Halos walk off 5-4. The Angels have won five in a row and cut their deficit in the West down to three and a half games behind Texas. Alex White making his first start with the Rockies. He came over as part of the Ubaldo Jimenez trade, fourth career start. Pick things up in the third, it's 2-1 Rockies. White in trouble, two on one out. Jose Altuve grounds one up the middle. Troy Tulowitzki is there, but his throw to first late. So Altuve's safe, Bud Norris scores. We're knotted at two. 
Next batter, J.D. Martinez. He hits one right back in white. Off his glove, Tulowitzki can't get there in time. Jordan Schaefer scores. Astros take a 3-2 lead. Move to the fifth. Game now tied at three. One on for Seth Smith. High and deep. Take a good look. You won't see this one for long. Off the facade of the third deck. Are you kidding me? His 15th of the year, 5-3 Rockies. Top of the sixth, one on, two out. Jimmy Paredes answers back. Takes White for a long ride to right. Two-run blast is second of the year. We are tied at five. Bottom of the sixth, the seesaw battle continues. Two on, nobody out. Carlos Gonzalez comes through with a base hit up the middle off Wilton Lopez. Dexter Fowler scores. Rockies back in front, 6-5. Eight straight games with an RBI for Gonzalez. Top of the seventh, game now tied at six. Go ahead, run on second. Two out. J.D. Martinez lifts one to shallow right, and look who comes to the rescue. Carlos Gonzalez lays out and slides in safely to make the robbery. Bottom of the seventh, one on, one out. Jonathan Herrera puts it where no one can catch it. Johnny drives one high and deep right field. You go, Johnny. Two run. <laughs> His third of the year, Rockies back in front, 8-6. Move to the ninth, same score. Rex Brothers in to close things out. Go ahead, run at the plate. Jason Bourgeois strikes out. Next batter, Jose Altuve, and he gets him to foul out to first. Todd Helton is there to end it. Brothers gets his first big league save as the Rockies outlast the Astros, 8-6. And hand Houston its third straight loss. Seth Smith and Jonathan Herrera drove in two runs apiece. Carlos Gonzalez extended his hit streak to 11 games. Alex White gave up five runs on seven hits in a walk over six innings. Padres looking to spoil the Giants homecoming. The Giants opening up a 12-game homestand. Matt Kane on the hill for the G-Men on this day. A sub-3 ERA going in. Top one. Man at third, two down. Jesus Guzman to pop up. Aubrey Hoff, Cody Ross, who's going to get there? And, well, they both kind of get there, but doesn't really work out. Cue the sad trombone. Later in the at-bat, Guzman makes the Giants pay. The single to left field. In comes Jason Bartlett. And the Padres take a 1-0 lead. To the top of the second, leading off Orlando Hudson to first base. Huff, some difficulty picking it up. He shoots it over to Matt Kane. But wait, Rob Drake calls the runner safe. Kane, according to Drake, didn't touch first base. It certainly looked like he got the side of that bag. So... Would it cost the Giants? Well, after Bruce Bochy argues the point with Drake, the next batter is Kyle Blanks. Long drive deep to left field. Is that ball fair down in the corner? And it is a home run. Touch them all. And the Padres jump in front three to nothing. Number six on the season for Blanks. As for Matt Latos, bottom four, bases loaded, two down. He gets Aaron Rowich to ground into the force. Out of trouble there. Jump ahead to the eighth inning. Now a 5-3 ball game. Pinch hitter Hector Sanchez singles for the Giants. Cody Ross comes in, and it's a one-run game at 5-4. to four. Next batter, runners on the corners for Orlando Cabrera. This guy's got clutch hits throughout his resume and his career. Here are the RBI single. In comes Aaron Rowan. We're tied up at five. To the ninth inning now, a man at third for Alberto Gonzalez. Up the middle, base hit. Finley scores, and the Padres reclaim the lead, 6-5. to five. They'd add to that next batter, Will Venable. Rips this to right field off Ramon Ramirez. Gonzalez, he's going to come in and score, just beating the throw. 7-5 Padres, that would be your final. Heath Bell follows with a 1-2-3 inning for his 35th save. The win goes to Eric Hamron, the first of his career. The Padres have won five in a row, a season high. Meanwhile, the Giants drop to two games back of the D-backs in the West. Ryan Braun and Casey McGee, as well as the Brewers, looking to stay hot after a rare loss on Monday night as they split a doubleheader against the Pirates. Top two runners on the corners for Jonathan Lucroy and just a little flair. It's all about where you place it. The single drops in. In comes Uneski Bentoncourt, one of three hits for Lucroy, and it's one nothing Brewers. Next up, Marco Estrada, the pitcher, looking to lay down the sack bunt, but Ryan Dobit throws it away into right field. So 
Jerry Hairston Jr. scores from second, and it's 2-0 Brewers. Later in the inning, Niger Morgan right up the middle. That's a clean single. Luke Roy comes in, one of four hits in the ballgame for Morgan, and it's 3-0 Brewers. Next up, Ryan Braun adding to the Pirates' misery. Braun rips one deep left center. That is back, and that is off the base of the wall. Estrada will score. Here comes Morgan. He'll score all the way from first. Ryan Braun with a two-RBI double. Then later in the inning, it's Casey McGee with Braun still on base, capping a big inning for the Brewers. McGee in the left field. That ball is way back, and there it goes. Casey McGee, a two-run homer. A seven-run second for the Brewers, and they take a 7-0 lead. To the bottom of the sixth, Andrew McCutcheon, ground ball, and look at McGee, the dive and catch. And then Prince Fielder, the nice stretch over there at first base. Well done from McGee. Then later in the inning, Garrett Jones will try the other corner for the Brewers. And Prince Fielder, yeah, he could stretch out too, makes the diving stop, taking away extra bases. So Prince doing the job defensively. He certainly did it offensively as he becomes the first player in the bigs to reach 100 RBIs on the season. Estrada, a solid game as well. He goes seven innings during his fourth win on the season. Brewers take it 11-4. The Brewers have been a powerhouse. They're now 24-4 over their last 28, and they've won 14-15 over the Pirates. Alfredo Simone looking for his first win in four starts as the Orioles continue a four-game set with the Twins. Pick things up in the second. Vladimir Guerrero on third, nobody out. Matt Wieters with a connection to right off Brian Dunsing. Guerrero easily scores on the RBI double. Orioles take a 1-0 lead. Later in the frame, two on for Nolan Rimel. Rimel deep to left field. Back it goes. It is good. It just got out. Just over the wall in left field. A huge three-run home run for Nolan Reimold, and the Orioles have the crooked number four run inning. His eighth of the year. Move to the third, two on, nobody out. Mark Reynolds continues the clinic. High fly oh, ball, oh, deep oh. center field. Revere is back on it. He's not going to get it, and that's going to bounce against the wall. Guerrero will score. Weeders is being sent from first base, and Reynolds is thinking three. Here's the throw. He is safe with a two-run triple. Next batter, Robert Andino, and he's tacking on more. Comes through with a base hit. Mark Reynolds will score. 7-0 Orioles. That was it for Dunsing. He was charged with seven runs on nine hits and a walk in just two plus. Seven runs, plenty for Alfredo Simone. Bottom of the sixth, Drew Butera in the box. He goes down swinging. Then in the seventh, Michael Kadir, same result. Bottom of the eighth, Luke Hughes joins the party. Simone threw a career-high eight innings of one-run ball, three hits, one walk, eight Ks. He earned his first win since August 2nd as the Orioles cruise past the Twins 8-1. Mark Reynolds had three hits and three ribbies. Vladimir Guerrero and J.J. Hardy added three hits apiece. Mike Miner and the Braves looking for a sixth straight win. Need some help from Martin Prado. Jason Hayward in this Braves offense. Well, bottom two, here's Prado's contribution. Alfonso Soriano at the plate to left field. And watch Prado come in on this baby. Full extension to make the grab. That's good effort. That's how you make the tease of a highlight. Top four, Casey Coleman on for the Cubs. He walks Eric Hinsky to load the bases. Then he walks Alex Gonzalez as well. So in comes Dan Ugla. One nothing Braves. Next batter, Coleman throws a strike, but to the wrong guy, Jason Hayward. High fly left center. Bird on the run. Track wall grand slam. Hit it high. Watch it fly. It's five nothing. First career grand slam for Hayward. Thirteenth home run overall this season. Bottom five. Here's Soriano hitting one that Prado can't grab. Number twenty one on the air for Soriano. That makes it 5-1, to one and it snaps the Braves' scoreless inning streak at 30. Later in the frame, Cubs not done. Aramis Ramirez, the double. Giovanni Soto and Darwin Barney both come in and score, and the Cubs get within two. Aramis ties a career high with five hits at the plate. 
Next up, Jeff Baker to short. Alex Gonzalez not going to make a good throw here. In the dirt, can't be scooped. Ramirez comes in, and it's now a one-run game. Bottom seven, Cubs threatening. Aranis Vizcaino comes in to face Marlon Byrd and gets him to ground out with the bases loaded. Vizcaino pitches a scoreless eighth as well. The ninth inning is Craig Kimbrell time. He struck him out. It's 40 and a share of the all-time rookie saves record for Craig Kimbrell. And the Braves beat Chicago 5-4. to four. He's now tied with Neftali Feliz, who set that record last year. Kimbrell also has a 31 and two-thirds inning scoreless streak. Hayward with three hits and four RBIs. Mike Miner earns the win, his fourth, as the Braves celebrate their sixth straight victory. Yonder Alonzo attended high school and college in the Miami area. And in the Miami area on this night, starting at first base for Joey Votto. He had about 200 friends and family in attendance, and he gave them something to write home about. Top two, Alonzo, the solo home run, the second of his career. And the Reds strike first, take a 1-0 lead. Now later in the inning, Doncho Willis in attendance. He had been the Marlins' all-time strikeout leader. Until this night, Ricky Nolasco surpasses him with the K right there. Congratulations to Nolasco. Bottom five, a 2-2 ball game. Gabby Sanchez with the RBI double. Omar Infante will come in and score. And the Marlins take a 3-2 lead. Bottom six, here's Emilio Bonifacio. A two-run ditty right here. His third on the season. Three RBI game for Bonifacio. It's 5-2 fish. Top seven, Jay Bruce trying to bat all the Reds back to left field and just misses, just foul. But Bruce comes back, very next pitch. Yeah, he could pull the ball out of the stadium as well. Number 27 on the air for Bruce, so just like that, it's a one-run ball game. Go to the ninth inning now, 6-4 Marlins. Two on for Dave Sapelt. Hit down the left field side. That will one-hop the wall. Here comes one runner, Votto to score. Phillips being around third. He's being sent home, and he will score as Dave Sapel comes up with a big two-run double and a blown save for Nunez. First career RBIs for Sapel. Later in the inning, it's the hometown hero, Alonzo. To center field. Is it going to get down? It will. Here comes the go-ahead run and Sapel. There goes Bruce the third. He's being waved around. Here comes the throw, and he is safe. And the Reds score twice on that ball hit by Alonzo. A four RBI game for Alonzo. The Reds rally for four in the ninth inning, and they down the Marlins eight to six. Francisco Cordero, a scoreless ninth for his 27th save. The Marlins have now lost six in a row. Victor Martinez staying loose before the game as the Tigers continue a four-game set with David Price in the Rays. Pick things up in the third, still scoreless. Rays threatening against Brad Penny. Two on, two out. Ben Zobras rips one to right. Reed Brignac scores on the RBI double. Rays strike first, one nothing. Skip ahead to the six. Price relying on his D. One on, nobody out. Gets Austin Jackson to ground it to the 6-4-3 double play. Bottom of the six, Penny follows a similar script. One on, one out. He gets Casey Kotchman to ground it to the 4-6-3 double play to end the inning. Top of the seventh, Price in trouble. Two on, one out. Alex Avila with a chance to deliver. Back up the middle into center base hit. Cabrera scores. Martinez will stop at third base. The Tigers have tied it up on the RBI hit by Avila. Next batter, Johnny Peralta, lifts one towards the gap in left center. Desmond Jennings racing over, makes the catch. Victor Martinez tags from third. He will score. Tigers take a 2-1 lead on the sack fly. Bottom of the seventh, Ryan Perry now on the hill for the Tigers. Base is loaded, two out. But Evan Longoria can't deliver. He flies out to center. Perry escapes the jam. Bottom of the eighth, race threatening again. Two on, two out. Phil Coke gets John Jaso swinging to end the inning. Bottom of the ninth, Coke still pitching because Jose Valverde unavailable since he pitched on back-to-back -back nights. Runners on second and third, two out. Ben Zobris in the box. Ground ball, first base. Cabrera has it. He takes it himself, and the Tigers win tonight. Huge win. Wow. Huge win. 
Phil Coke, a masterful job meandering through some trouble the last two innings, but boy, was he impressive. He's got to be the player of the game. Coke records the final six outs to get his first save as the Tigers edge the Rays 2-1. Brad Penny gave up one run over six and a third to win his second straight decision. David Price tossed eight frames of two-run ball. He suffered his first loss since August 2nd. Brandon McCarthy looking for his fifth win in six starts as the A's open a three-game set with the Yankees in the Bronx. Pick things up in the second, still scoreless. Brandon Allen facing Bartolo Colon. That one's hit to right, and watch this baby go. Oh, my. How oh, beautiful. Solo shot a monster his fourth of the year. Top of the third, Eric Sogard leading off. And he has Cologne looking up again. This flight is a round trip. His first big league statement, A's pad their lead 2-0. With the lead in hand, McCarthy just flustering the Yankees lineup. Bottom of the fifth, Curtis Granderson in the box. He goes down looking. Then in the sixth, it's now 3-0. Mark Teixeira swinging. McCarthy 6Ks on the night. Top of the seventh, Boone Logan on the hill. Bob Melvin turns the pinch hitter Scott Sizemore, and he greets him with a connection to right. Cliff Pennington and Kurt Suzuki both score. 2-run double, 5-0 Oakland. Top of the eighth, two out. Brandon Allen already with a homer. Here comes the encore. A solo shot off Hector Noesi. First career multi-homer game. A's pad their lead 6-0. Bottom of the frame, Yankees looking to rally. Two on, two out. And McCarthy makes his first mistake. Serves up a three-run homer to Nick Swisher. Number 16 on the year. Yankees cut the deficit in half, 6-3. Move to the ninth, it's now 6-4. Andrew Bailey trying to close things out. Base is loaded, two out. Robinson Cano draws a walk. Check out Bob Melvin's reaction. He can't believe it. Thinks it's a strike. Well, let's see if he has an argument. Take another look right at the knees. No room for Cano. Russell Martin scores. Bombers move closer 6-5. Base is still loaded for Nick Swisher. Drive center field. Coco's going back. He's near the wall, and he's got it, and that's the ball game. Bailey takes a deep breath. He gets his 17th save as the A's survive the Yankees 6-5. Brandon McCarthy went seven and two thirds to win for the fifth time in six starts. Derek Jeter had three hits, tying Rod Carew for 22nd place on the all-time list. Alex Rodriguez was a late scratch from the lineup due to a sprained left thumb. Ian Kennedy looking for his 16th win, going up against Jordan Zimmerman. A 21-minute rain delay because of the earthquake that affected the D.C. area earlier in the day. Top four, Justin Upton hit by the pitch here by Zimmerman. Slams down his bat. He'd be forced to leave the game later with a right elbow contusion. Later in the inning, Ryan Roberts to third. And Ryan Zimmerman, terrific play to save a run. And the Diamondbacks fail to score in the inning. Bottom of the inning, Ian Kennedy. Gets a little retribution. It hits Michael Morse on the hand. Morse would be okay, but both benches warned later in the inning. Two on in scoring position. Kennedy strikes out Lance Nix to get out of the threat then. Base is loaded in the fifth. It's Morse his next time at the dish. And almost hit here, or maybe he was hit. It's called a foul ball by the umpire, but on a close replay, you can see it did touch his glove. So Morse, he's complaining, but he ends up striking out to end the threat. Oh, how different things could have been. Top seven. How about Sean Burroughs with a man on? Burroughs drives it deep right field. Sean, it's been since 2005. Out of here. Sean Burroughs. Who'd have thought that Sean Burroughs would end the drought? The former Little League World Series hero gives the D-backs a 2-0 lead. Bottom seven here's Kennedy. Strikes out Alex Cora. Then Rick and Keel. That'll be all for Kennedy. Seven scoreless, eight punch outs. The guy has become the Diamondbacks ace to the bottom of the ninth. J.J. puts on for the save and fly ball right field pretty well struck. Going back is Para toward the wall. He's got it and an improbable win for the Diamondbacks. 31st save on the air for Puts. Kennedy improves to 16 and four. He also had a single and a double at the dish. Kennedy has won eight of nine starts and he helps end the D-backs six game losing streak. Matt Kemp trying to help Clayton Kershaw win his third consecutive start as the Dodgers continue a three-game set with the Cardinals. 
Top of the first, Dodgers immediately going to work against Kyle Loesch. Two on, nobody out. Matt Kemp looks to take advantage. This one hit well into center field. Craig's going back. He's at the track. He looks up. It's gone! An early 3-0 lead for the Dodgers. A new career high at home runs for Matty. That's number 29. With the lead in hand, Kershaw takes care of business himself. Bottom of the frame against Matt Holliday swinging. Next batter, Lance Berkman, same result. Ball gets away, but Barajas recovers in plenty of time to throw to first. Top of the second, it's now 5-0. Juan Rivera tacking on more. Base hit to center. That'll score James Loney and Matt Kemp. The route is on, 7-0 L.A. Top of the third, one out. Ron Barajas continues the clinic. Takes Loesch for a long ride to left. Number 13 on the year, 8-0 Dodgers. That was plenty for Kershaw. Bottom of the fourth, runner on second, nobody out. He is just cruising. Lance Berkman swinging. Later in the frame, base is loaded, one out. Ryan Terrio looking. Next batter, Mitchell Boggs, strike a pose. Kershaw, eight Ks over six scoreless innings. Top of the fifth, two on for Barajas. And he adds an early exclamation point. Deep drive to left. Heading back is Holiday. He runs out of room. Second home run of the ball game, Rod Barajas. 11-0 Dodgers. Skip ahead to the ninth. Things are so lopsided. Tony La Russa sends Skip Schumacher to the mound. One on, one out. Aaron Miles says thank you very much. Big bank to right. Two run blast. His third of the year. 13-0 Dodgers. They would go on to win 13-2. Clayton Kershaw won his third consecutive start. Ron Barajas finished with three hits and four RBI. Matt Kemp added two hits and three ribbies. It's the Dodgers' first back-to-back -back wins in St. Louis since 2003. Kyle Loesch gave up a season-high eight runs in three innings. First of a day-night doubleheader in Cleveland between the Indians and Mariners. The Tribe trying to snap a four-game losing streak. Blake Bevin, the start for the visitors, and the Tribe out on top early. Bottom one, Kosuke Fukudome. The double plates Ezekiel Carrera. The Tribe on top, 1-0. Justin Masterson in the next half inning fails to hold the lead. Miguel Olivo back up the middle. Adam Kennedy scores. Game tied at 1-1. One Bottom four now, Lonnie Chisenhall. Well, he changes that 1-1 score. He, too, back up the middle. Fukudome scores, and now Cleveland back on top. It's a 2-1 score. Top five, it's now 2-2. Franklin Gutierrez hits it high, hits it far. It will stay in the ballpark, and it will give Seattle their first lead of the afternoon. Ichiro scores 3-2 M's. Bottom seven, now 3-3. Carlos Santana facing Jamie Wright. Swung on Rick to right. That's a base hit. Belbuena around third. He is going to score. The throw will go to third. The slide, the tag. Out at third is Shinsu Chu. But the damage is done. 4-3 Cleveland WTAM with the call. Chris Perez relieved Masterson with one out in the ninth. Here's two on for Trayvon Robinson, and he gets the job done. From one down to one up with one swing. It's now 5-4 Seattle. Perez a blown save. So the Mariners call on their closer, Brandon League. Two on for Shinsu Chu. Swung on, hit high, hit deep to left. This ball, gone! A walk-off three-run homer for Shinsu Chu. And in a must-win game, the Indians have an incredible comeback. You heard the good news, courtesy of WTAM. It's a 7-5 come from behind win for the Indians. Brandon League, a blown save for him as well. Perez gets the win. Masterson, eight and a third, five earned. Carrera and Fukudome at three hits apiece. By the way, there was an earthquake in Virginia. It was felt at Progressive Field early on. There was no reported damage or injuries. Indians won game one of their doubleheader with the Mariners thanks to Shinsu Chu's walk-off homer. He and the Tribe looking to build off that momentum in the nightcap. 
Anthony Vasquez making his big league debut. Bottom of the second, still scoreless. Kosuke Fukudome leading off and welcoming Vasquez to the big leagues. This flight is a round trip. His first homer is an Indian. Tribe takes a 1-0 lead. Zach McAllister making his second big league start. Top of the third, Franklin Gutierrez rips one down the left field line. Josh Bard and Ichiro coming to score. Gutierrez heads to second on Ezekiel Carrera's fielding error. Mariners move in front 2-1. After a Dustin Ackley RBI single makes it 3-1, Mike Karp looks to tack on more. Swung on, well hit ball. Deep to right by Karp. Way out of here. Goodbye baseball. Way back into the lower deck in right field. Mike Karp with his seventh home run of the season. And it's now the Mariners five. And the Indians won. And that baby was shot out of a cannon. KIRO with the call. Bottom of the third, Shinsu Chu, the hero in game one, and picking up where he left off. Takes Vasquez for a long ride. His eighth of the year, 5 2 Mariners. Top of the fourth, it's now 6 2. Dustin Ackley bids McAllister farewell. Swinging a ground ball right side, off to his left, Donald off his glove and into right field. Robinson will score. Ichiro Rani third, heading home. He'll score. The throw to third. Gutierrez slides, and he's safe at third base. And now the Mariners lead by a score of 8-2. to two. KIRO with the call. McAllister lasted just three and a third. He was charged with eight earned runs on nine hits and two walks. Bottom of the sixth, it's now 11-4. Two on, one out. Jack Hanahan comes through with a base hit up the middle. Shelly Duncan scores 11-5 Seattle. That was it for Vasquez, went five and a third in his big league debut. Bottom of the eighth, it's now 12-7. Jeff Gray on the hill for Seattle. Base is loaded, two out. And Shelly Duncan lines out to third. Kyle Seeger, right place, right time to end the inning. Gray records the final five outs for his first save as the Mariners outslug the Indians 12-7 to earn a split in the double dip. Trayvon Robinson had four hits, including an RB single. Franklin Gutierrez and Dustin Ackley combined for five hits and five RBI. Anthony Vasquez earned a win in his big league debut. John Mayberry filling in for Ryan Howard, bothered by a foot ailment. And Mayberry's been hot of late. Not as hot as Vance Worley, though. The Phils have won his last 11 starts as they try to beat the New York Mets after taking them down 10-0 the night before. Top one, Worley strikes on Lucas Duda and Nick Evans with men on in scoring position. Then in the second inning, he's able to put down Jonathan Neese with men in second and third, Angel Pagan, and finally, Ruben Tejada. Worley pitching out of a jam, nine strikeouts, a new career high. He goes seven innings, allows one run. As for John Neese, bottom three, Shane Victorino with his 14th home run of the season. A solo shot. Phillies take a 1-0 lead. And yeah, with that earthquake, a uh, wild day on the East Coast. As for Mayberry, later in the inning, two on, two down. Swung on and belted. Deep to left, forget about it. Towering three-run home run for John Mayberry Jr. And it's a 4 to nothing Phillies lead. WPHT on the call. Second straight three RBI game for Mayberry. Bottom four, it's Placido Polanco to left field. Jason Bay can't make the grab. Vance Worley, the pitcher, able to hustle home from second with the run. And it's 5 nothing Philadelphia. Bottom five, Worley now at the plate in a 6 nothing game. Pitch swing and a line drive base hit right over the second base bag to center. Rounding third base is Francisco. He's coming home and he will score. Standing up, the throw is up the third base line. Vance Worley helps his own cause with a two out RBI single. It is now 7 0 Phillies. That's WPHT on the call. Then next batter, Shane Victorino to center field. And that's going to get over the head of Angel Pagan. Second straight game with a triple for Victorino. He drives in two, fills up 9-0, and they go on to the easy 9-4 win. How about a pair of hits for Worley? He does the job on the mound. He's now won his last seven decisions. Also, Phil's starter Cole Hamels was placed on the DL earlier in the day, but he's expected to come back and start on Monday. Bruce Chen looking to win his fourth consecutive start as the Royals and Blue Jays open a three-game set in Toronto. Pick things up in the second, still scoreless. Eric Hosmer looking to give Chen some early support against Brandon Morrow. And a drive into center field. Back goes Rasmus, still going back, and it is gone! A home run! 
KCSP with the call, number 11 on the year. Royals take a 1-0 lead. After Jeff Rancor doubles, Johnny Giovatella comes through with a base hit to center. Kobe Rasmus can't handle it. Jeff Rancor scores, 2-0 Royals. Giovatella heads to second on the fielding error. He'd score on an RBI single to make it 3-0. Move to the fifth, Billy Butler not taking it easy on Morrow. Morrow lets it go. And a blast into left field by Butler. Back goes Thames to the track, to the wall. Home run, Billy Butler. KCSP with the call, number 16 on the year, 4-0 Royals. Later in the frame, it's now 5-0 after a Johnny Giovatel RBI double. Next batter, Salvador Perez, drives one to deep right center and then steps on the gas. Giovatella scores from second. Perez winds up at third with an RBI triple. 6-0 Royals. That was it for Morrow. Six runs on 11 hits in a walk over four and two thirds. Bottom of the six, Chen in trouble, two on one out, makes his first mistake, serves up a three run homer to Yunel Escobar, his 11th of the year. Jays cut the deficit in half, 6 3. Chen would regroup two batters later, Jose Bautista in the box, and he gets him looking to end the inning. Then in the seventh, Adam Lynn swinging a miss. Bottom of the eighth, Chen still dealing. One out, induces a comeback from Jose Molina. Off his glove, but he tracks it down and fires to first for the out. Chen went seven and two thirds, three runs on four hits in a walk, tied a career high with nine Ks. He won his fourth consecutive start for the first time in his career as the Royals hold off the Blue Jays 6-4. Chen combined with two relievers on a six hitter. Joaquin Soria worked the ninth for his 23rd save. Before the game, the Blue Jays shipped infielders Aaron Hill and John McDonald to the D-backs for his second baseman, Kelly Johnson.